This vanity countertop was free. It's like a uh, polymer type substance, almost like concrete, but a little bit more flexible to it. And uh, I need to build a cabinet for it. So uh, let's do that now. Let's build a vanity cabinet thing. So the dimensions I'm shooting for is 32 inches tall and that will make it 33 with the countertop on it which will just come right underneath the uh, mirror and that will be perfect um, by 30 inches long by uh, 18 deep that way there's a little bit of a lip of the countertop all the way around so that'd be nice and so what I got here is salvaged plywood that I got for free the place I work they used them for cubicles primitive cubicles and they are 7 eighths inch thick by 7 feet tall by 4 well I quickly realized even with a table saw I cannot do a very good cut there's too many variables when you're running a 75 pound piece of plywood through a table saw and uh, with two people I could but with one person I can't or with one person in rollers I could but I don't have that so what I've done is the next best thing I took a piece of aluminum some clamps this piece of aluminum is straight it's going to be my guide and I'm going to run the, table, the skill saw across it and cut it off, true up the edge first and then I'll start making some more cuts and that really is the best option because that's really only good for running small pieces of table saw gets pretty hard when you're running big pieces but anyway I'll do that I already measured from uh, the blade to this and that is an inch and a half so it's going to be at 40 inches perfect actually 40 inches and a half <laughs> I'm ready to start putting together this is the back part of the cabinet that hits the trim so I notched it out five and a half because how the trim is five and a half and then I uh, inched it in about an inch and then this is the toe kick I did it up five and a half so it matches the back usually the toe kicks about four inches but I don't mind I got big feet so yeah so I got two of those that's the back piece right there and it's cut to eight and a half because these are both uh, three fourths when you put that together that makes an inch and a half and I want thirty inches so inch and a half 28 and a half makes 30 inches. Good. Yeah. So I need to start putting this crap together. There's the bottom shelf. And then uh, the two kick pieces right here cut. And uh, it's been taking me a long time to do all my cuts because I want to do them really, really well because this is really a test cabinet to see if I have the crap, the skill, whatever I have to do the um, kitchen cabinets, which are very, very hard to do. So, anyway. Here's what I've been working on for two hours. And uh, so far it's taking shape pretty well. I got the toe kick on. See? I've used only finished nails because they're, you yeah, know, I could drive them down a little bit deeper and paint over them. Pretty good right now. I need to do the face. I don't know what I'm going to do about doors. I know i got to make them. But I need to learn how to use my router. I've never actually used it. I got it at a yard sale and I don't have any bits for it. So I'll play around with it before I make the door. But uh, I might go ahead and face it out with trim. Whew. It's, uh, it's been a long time to get to this point. <laughs> well, I faced it and it's ready for doors. Other than a light sanding, I'll get it before I paint it. I just need to face it. Oh, well, I already got faced. I just need to make doors for it and hinge them and put them on the, you know, all that crap. Um, the outer trim is one and a half. The inner one, which is what both doors will meet on, is uh, two inches. I had to use that. I use a lot of tools. All the scrap everywhere for making this. Um, it's really not that heavy. Maybe 70. I like the counter height, 32 inches. Plus, you add in the counter, it's going to be like 33 and a half or something. But I like it, and the uh, best part was free because I made it. All finished nails. Um, 
see I was pricing plywood and plywood is really expensive right now and so for the kitchen cabinets this is the for the bathroom uh, I don't know because I really want to see if ply plywood comes down by half inch because this is like three fourths it's pretty thick ass shit and uh, I get some thinner stuff half inch I could do pretty good with and build the kitchen cabinets there it is with the countertop on it pretty spiffy I like it let's make the doors and it'll be good probably put a little shelf in there simple took me about two hours to build it worth it I gotta make a lot more cabinets so about time I learn this now anyway peace you see here I got a router I've never actually used a router I bought this router at a yard sale for 10 bucks about three years ago. So I put a router blade on it with a bearing on it so it doesn't gouge the wood. Let me show you. I got like a, where's my pack? I don't know. I got like a 10 pack of them. Not a 10 pack, 3 pack. One does one fourth, one does uh, 3 eighths, and one does one half. Uh, I've never used a router, I've seen it used on TV before. I figured I'd run some scrap through it, see how it looks, see what, you know, adjustments. I can adjust the level on this. And uh, apparently router bits cost a lot. Like, uh, they had this one that was $105. I, the only way I got these were, they were in a set for 36 No, 26 is 26 But, like, they had, you know, single bits that were $200. So, uh, so I'm going to run it through and I'll show you the results, see if it turned out well. See what's going on, because I gotta route the doors, because I want them to look good. That was easy. Um, it looks nice. It's a one fourth bit. It wasn't, you know, it has a guide on it to keep you from digging in more than it does, and you can lower it and raise it. You know, it might travel a bit lower, but I don't know. I like the way that looks. Yeah, using a router is fun and easy. I think that's the design I'm going to go on the door. Looks good to me. Router worked out great. A little bit of light sanding. And then I'll prime it. And paint it. Here's the cabinet installed. And uh, you can see my hinges and everything. Biggest mistake I did was I put the cabinet handles up a little bit too high and I had to move them back down and uh, yeah so there's an extra hole up there I need to fix but it is painted with kills paint which is mold resistant paint and then it is also um, what do you call it polyurethane to make it a little bit more clean you can see the hinges there and so it turned out good